I'm Farmer Joe with Green Art Planet. Just look at all these flowers growing in this garden. We've got blue ones, orange ones, yellow ones, there's some white ones. Man, have you ever wondered why do flowers come in so many different shapes and sizes? I wonder if we could figure it out. Let's take a look. to begin to understand why there are so many different kinds of flowers, let's draw the parts of a typical flower. All right guys, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna draw a picture, okay? Farmer Joe's got his markers. I hope you have a paper and something to draw with. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna do the same drawing. I want you guys at home, I want you to draw the same thing that Farmer Joe does. I'm going to show you how to draw all the different parts of the flower, okay? So the first part is right here, you guys. So the first part has little, there we go. First part's going to be right here. There we go. Okay. So this part kind of looks like a little flower vase or something, right? This part is called the pistil, okay? This is the pistil. It's made up of the stigma, this little part on top here, I'll color them in. That's the stigma. This little part's the style. And this, well, this part right here, that's the ovary. Those are the three parts of the pistil. The pistil's job is to collect pollen and make seeds. That's what the pistil's job is. So the next part is gonna be these guys. See these guys right here? They kind of look like, to me they look like little wires. And little wires, they got, a little, they got a little dot, little fuzzy dot on top. These guys are called stamen. Here's one stamen. There's another stamen. I'm gonna draw another stamen. You guys draw along with me. We're gonna draw another stamen. And there's another stamen on the other side. So we have two stamens on each side. Some flowers have four stamens. Sometimes they have five or six. Flowers are all different, but the stamens always look the same. They look like a little wire. This little wire part, it's called a filament. And on top of the filament, these little dots, these little fuzzy dots, well, these little fuzzy dots, those are called anthers. Okay, so the anthers, well, the whole stamen's job, his job is to make pollen. So we have the pistil, his job is to catch the pollen and make seeds. And then you got the stamen, and the stamen's job is to make the pollen. If you guys haven't noticed, Farmer Joe, he's drawing this flower from the inside out. So this is all the stuff that's on the inside of the flower. Okay, now I'm going to draw the part that you guys know very well, and it's usually the very pretty part of the flower. There you guys go. All right, there's one of them. This is the pretty part of the flower that's on the outside that we all see that's usually very colorful, there's all sorts of different colors. And that's going to be the petals. Those are the petals, and the petal's job is to look pretty. The petal's job is to look pretty so it can attract all the insects. That's what the petals are there for. We're gonna draw one more part, and this part's kind of a funny part. It always reminds me of one of those fancy mustaches. You ever, you ever see someone with one of these Fancy old timey mustaches, handlebar mustaches. There you go. And then this part comes down here. Okay. Very good. Well, we know what this part of the plant is, don't we? That's right, it's the stem. There's the stem. And then these fancy things that look like fancy mustaches, those are called sepals. The sepals start off as a flower bud. If you guys ever seen a flower bud, they look like this. We're gonna pretend my hands are sepals. They, 
The sepals protect the flower inside, and then when they're ready to open, they open up. Just like, just like the sepals in this picture. Now, you guys, we just drew all the parts that are inside a flower, but we've got to label them. We gotta make sure we remember what they are. So, you guys remember that first middle part? It's a pistol. So it's a, it's a pistol, and remember, it's made of three different parts. We've got this part right here. You guys, remember this part? That's gonna be. Well, that's gonna be the the stigma. There's this part right here. Remember that skinny part, the skinny part of the vase? That's the style. And then this fat part down here. There we go. That's the ovary. That's right. So Farmer Joe's gonna spell them for you. Stigma, style, and the ovary. And all together, my friends, all those parts together, remember what it's called? It's the pistol. And the pistol kind of sounds like a gun, but it's spelled a little different. All right, there's the pistol. There, so there's the pistol. Remember the pistol's job is to, it catches the pollen and it makes the seed. Now we're gonna label our next part. Do you remember the next part? Stamen, right over here. And remember the stamen? We've got that part at the top. Remember his name? Anther. And then the little thing that looks like a wire? Filament. Farmer Joe's gonna write anther here. A-N-T-H. E R and then the filament F I L A M E N T filament and together those two parts are the stamen. All right, so remember that anther, he makes the pollen. He's usually fuzzy and yellow. <laughs> and then the filament's the wire. All right, the next part, you guys all know. The pretty part of the flower that's all different colors, that's really nice. Those are the petals. You guys know how to spell petal, right? P-E-T-A-L. What we have are all the flower parts, and you know what all their jobs are. You know that the style is what's going to make the seed when it catches the pollen. You know that the pollen's made by the stamen. And then we've got the petals that are pretty. Do you remember this fancy old timey mustaches? That's right, that's the sepal. That's the special leaf. The sepals, remember, they're there to protect the flower. What we have is the insects love the petals. The petals are pretty beautiful colors because, well, insects really like pretty and beautiful colors. So the petals there to attract the insects. So the insects like the petals just because they're pretty colors, but they're attracted to the pretty colors because they know that when they see the pretty petal inside the flower is going to be a delicious treat. You see the flower, it makes something eh, somewhere right down in here, right by the, the base of the, the pistil here, and it's called nectar. Now nectar, nectar is really delicious. Nectar is a, a sugar water that plants make. Nectar is what bees use to make honey. They get the nectar. And then they even stop by the stamen here. The stamen and the anther. The anther makes the pollen, right? Well, the bees get the nectar. It's kind of like a Kool-Aid for them. <laughs> and then they get the pollen from the stamen. It's kind of like eating potatoes, right? So they got to have your your sugar water and your potatoes. Anyway, the bees, they come in and get a delicious treat. That's why the insects visit the flowers. There's the insects' food. The bees love this stuff. You may wonder, why do the flowers spend all their time making food for bees?
The reason is the bees help pollinate the flowers. Now pollination happens when an insect takes pollen from the stamen, from that anther there, and gets it stuck on their body. Bees are really hairy. They got hair everywhere. And when they fly in here to get their nectar and eat, they get the pollen everywhere. And they take that pollen from one flower. And then when they go to another flower, some of that pollen gets stuck on this sticky little stigma at the top of the pistil. And when the pollen hits the pistil, cause the bee brought it over there, then the pollen goes down to the ovary and makes a seed. Now pollination happens when an insect takes pollen from the stamen, from that anther there, and gets it stuck on their body. Bees are really hairy. They got hair everywhere. And when they fly in here to get their nectar and eat, they get the pollen everywhere. And they take that pollen from one flower. And then when they go to another flower, some of that pollen get stuck on this sticky little stigma at the top of the pistil. And when the pollen hits the pistil, cause the bee brought it over there, then the pollen goes down to the ovary and makes a seed. So the reason that flowers make food for bees is because they need help making seeds. You see the flower, most of the time the flower can't take the pollen and put it on the pistol by itself. The bees come in and they get their food and what do the flowers get out of it? When you bring pollen from one flower to another, they get pollinated by the insects. So they have a really nice relationship. One of them gets food and the other gets pollen so they can make seeds. Bees pollinate most of the flowers, but there's a lot of insects and different animals that pollinate flowers. We have bees, there's, well, there's butterflies, and it could be ants, it could be other different creatures, but bees do most of the pollinating, but lots of other insects help out. Remember the blue flowers I was looking at at the beginning of this video? Well, they were super tiny. Now, they're so small that a butterfly or a hummingbird can't fit their big mouth parts inside the flower to get at the nectar. So these flowers need a different pollinator. They need bees and other small flying insects that can fit inside the flower. So some flowers have different shapes to let certain animals in. Some flowers have a shape that's perfect to fit a hummingbird's head or the really long tongue of a special moth. Now, the reason that flowers have different colors is for the same reason, because some insects like some colors and some insects like another color. So the different colors attract the right pollinator for that flower. So the reason that we have all these different size, shapes, and colors of flowers is because each flower is trying to attract the exact right pollinator for them. I'm Farmer Joe from Green Our Planet. See you next time. Bye.